Good girl, stay here. Come, come. Yeah, good girl, Bubushi. Hi. <laughs> All right. What's up, everybody? My name is Antronic. As you know, fall is settling in. I'm here at the park with my dog, and I want to make a yoga video. I'm wearing the usual clothes, but I have a ring on my finger now. I got married three days ago. Um, it was beautiful. It was outdoors. It didn't rain, and I know it's going to rain any day now, so the timing was perfect. And we're just going to go, we're just going to flow, make a yoga class, get on your mat, and let's just settle in, move our body in every way possible so that at the end of this half hour or whatever it is, we feel amazing, right? Let's do it. Let's just um, get on hands and knees in tabletop position, just shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, and let's start with cat cow. Inhale as you arch your back, look up, stick your butt out. Exhale, round your back, look at your belly button, tuck your tailbone, straight arms the whole time. Inhale as you reverse it and arch your back again. This is the cow position. And then exhale, round your back, cat position, like an angry cat. And then walk your hands to your knees and spread your shoulder blades apart. And then walk them hands out, tuck your toes, and sit on your heels, and just stretch your toes out in that direction that they never get stretched out on. And then put your forearms together, elbows touching, interlace your fingers, and just keep your forearms touching together as you roll your wrists around. Move the wrists in as big of a direction in every way possible. Reverse. Good. Now let's go on hands and knees and release the toes. And this time we keep the feet together, knees apart, child's pose. Sit on your heels with your knees apart and bring your forehead to the mat just settle everything down you could straighten the arms grip the floor into the mat and push your butt back toward your heels take a deep inhale and let it go bring the forehead back on the mat deep breath here inflating the upper back the ribs expanding and then exhale a couple more breaths here walk your hands to the right and look under your left armpit try to keep the butt toward the heel Take a deep inhale, exhale, bring the hands back to the center and to the other side, to your left side and look under your right armpit and try to keep the hips down. Deep breath here, it's a nice lat stretch usually, it's nice to do every once in a while. And then let's bring the hands back to center. Go on hands and knees. Lift the right leg back. Look at it. See if it's, see if the toes are pointed down and try to make the leg level with the ground. And then raise your left arm up, palm facing up as you look at your hand. Good, and then bend the knee and bring the arm back and grab an ankle good and then let's kick the foot up and then release that 
slowly bring everything back down and let's do the other side left leg back look back at your left leg make sure the toes are pointed down the hips internally rotated and try to make the leg completely straight and level with the gr ground after that set raise your right arm up palm facing up look at it swing your hand back bend your knee up your foot up and you can even see if you can look back at your foot as you kick your foot up good let's bring the hands back to center and set them down all right let's just lay on our stomach and go into sphinx pose sphinx pose is such where you want your elbows under your shoulders and then basically look up straight ahead drive the elbows back and it will bring your chest up and let's just drop the head down slowly and do some neck rolls so go to the side and back up and to the other side just turn your head in a big circle breathe switch directions good now replace the elbows with your hands and try to arch up again good let's allow the hands to go allow the chest to go down raise the arms up and then raise the legs up squeeze the glutes now bring the hands behind you crown of the head reaching forward as the arms are pulling down toward the feet breathing bring the hands overhead back behind you shoulders down back overhead set the hands down in front of right below your chest set the feet down tuck your toes go into child's pose while in child's pose crawl your fingers forward 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 until the hips go over your knees so you're in puppy dog pose and look up at your hands and then bring them back go into table top position tuck your toes lift the knees up into downward facing dog it's your first downward dog here basically try to lift your hips up as high as possible it's okay to bend the knees try to stick your butt up and bring your chest to your thighs you can look at your belly button sometimes it's good to look at your hands and it's really nice to do shoulder rolls so move your shoulders in a big circle while your elbows are locked straight drive the heels down to the ground good let's roll forward to plank position squeeze the glutes squeeze the abs while in plank let's just breathe for a moment push the shoulders to push the chest away from the ground good keep breathing squeeze those glutes and I want you to send the shoulders forward over the fingers straighten your elbows and then slowly lower down the negative push-up inhale upward facing dog where you only the hands and the tops of your feet are touching the ground my legs are lifted up and I'm looking up and then I Go into downward facing dog lift the hips up good 
one legged bring your right legged bring your right leg up see if you could pulse that foot up even higher dynamically pulse that foot up 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 bring the right knee to your nose and back up higher and then set the right foot down lift the leg left leg up pulse it up try to dynamically move it up higher 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 i know this is intense but you can do it and then bring the left knee to your nose and set it down and go into downward facing dog walk the feet forward to go between the hands it's okay to bend your knees grab opposite elbows and just hang a bit try to bring the weight over your front of your toes good and then let's put our hands on our shins and try to flatten our back now put your hands above your knees and try to flatten your back <sighs> inhale exhale drop your torso down put your hands on the back of your head interlace your fingers and put your hands on the back of your head and allow the weight to attraction your cervical spine and allow the rest of your spine to drop down tuck your chin shake your head no to let it go drop your hands down and roll up one vertebrae at a time keep your head down the head will be the last thing to come up shoulders will first roll back <sighs> palms facing forward raise the arms up <sighs> hands to the heart inhale as you sweep the arms up to the sky looking up at your hands hands together hands to the heart inhale hands back up to the sky looking up and arching backwards exhale hands down to the ground uh, hands to the heart <laughs> inhale and exhale inhale and exhale bring the hands down so that your palms are facing forward palms are open facing forward <sighs> good and just feel how evenly you're standing on both feet how great that feels fantastic <sighs> sweep the arms up bring the hands down into forward fold step the right foot back into a lunge bring the hands back like a jet airplane just like you were in that superman position make sure your front knee is over your ankle keep the torso slightly off the front leg pull the top of the head the crown of the head forward to lengthen the neck while your hands are pressing backwards and then change nothing with your body position except raise your arms up in front of you with your palms facing up look at your hands and then raise your whole torso up inhale and exhale bring the hands down to the ground step the foot back into a plank bring the body into downward facing dog and walk your feet forward until they're between your hands good now in this position step your left foot back raise your arms up behind you reaching backwards pulling your shoulders down as the crown of the head reaches forward lift your torso off the off the front foot make sure your front knee is over your ankle and without changing anything here inhale as you sweep the arms up palms facing up and then raise your whole body up 
Pretend you're holding a big beach ball. Breathe. And bring the hands down to the ground. Step the foot back. Stay in plank. Lean the shoulders forward and slowly lower your shoulders down. And then upward facing dog, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Raise the right foot up. Bring the right knee to your nose. Bring the shoulders over the wrists and see if you could step it through between the hands. If you can't, just use your hand to push your foot forward. Good. Let's raise the arms up. Warrior one or a crescent lunge. Put the back heel down and bring the arms out to the side for warrior two. Look over your right fingertips. Deep breath here. Reverse warrior. Bring your left arm down your leg as you reach your right arm up. Bend the front knee deeply. Forward, good. And then warrior two. Extended side angle pose. Right forearm on your right thigh as you reach the left arm overhead and look up. And then if this is easy for you, you can increase the twist by pushing your elbow on the inside of your thigh. And then bring the right hand down to the ground if that's available to you. Breathe. And then let's go to warrior two. Straighten the front leg for triangle by reaching forward, forward, fo forward, and then bring the right hand down, left arm up. Deep breath here. Bring the left hand down onto the shin. This is a pyramid pose. Good. Let's go back into warrior two. Bring the arms out to the side and bend the front knee forward and then windmill the hands down into plank. Take a moment here to get into plank and then send the shoulders forward, forward, forward and down slowly. Inhale as you go into upward facing dog. This time look back at your right foot and look back at your left foot and then raise your, your butt up into downward facing dog. Raise the left leg up as high as it will go and then bring the left knee to your nose. Really close as high up as possible, heel to the butt and step it forward reach the arms back behind you and let's go into warrior two <sighs> breathing looking over your left fingertips left knee over left ankle good deep breath here reverse warrior right hand goes down your right leg as you reach your left arm over behind you and look up. You can also look down at your back foot if that's easier on your neck. Both are nice. Bend the front knee deeply and then go back to warrior two. Extended side angle pose. Left forearm on the left thigh as you reach your right arm overhead. Put the inside, put the elbow on the inside of the left thigh and use that as a leverage to twist your whole torso up more. <clears throat> if you want, you could put the left, <clears throat> you could put the left hand on the, the ground. Deep breath. And then let's bring the hand up. 
and go into warrior two with the front knee bent and then bring the hands down to plank position and then walk your feet forward between the hands and just relax into the forward fold grab opposite elbows shake your head no to let it go really try to find some length here bringing the crown of the head down all right let your hands go and now come up one vertebrae at a time the shoulders will roll backwards and the head will be the last thing to come up palms facing forward close your eyes breathe Good. Walk into the middle of your mat. So something I'm going to say right now, I'm editing this in, but for this next sequence, have a chair in front of you and use the chair or a yoga block. But even if you don't have a yoga block, just use a chair. Just have a chair in front of you and hold the chair instead of the, instead of the ground. Grab your right toe right foot your right ankle bring your left arm up just balance here if you can if you're balancing here fine see if you could grab the inside the big toe side of your right foot that'll externally rotate your shoulder on the right side your arm and then if you're comfortable here and you want to go further bring your hand forward palm facing up as you kick your back foot back stop wherever you feel it's too much for you for a lot of people this is it for some people they can also bring their hand down into a sugarcane pose like a half moon pose and then if you're in this position get back up into dancer's pose and bring the left hand down and the right foot down Woo! that was good let's switch sides left foot up see if you could grab your ankle there raise your right hand up see if you could grab the big toe side and then Bring the hand forward, palm facing up as you kick your back foot up. And from here, you can also bring the hand down, maybe. If you have a chair in front of you, you can just touch the chair and it's really comfortable because then you can also easily look back and bring your foot backwards to arch your back. And then let's go back to dancer's pose and back down. <sighs> All right, let's uh, go into chair pose. Bring your feet together, knees together, and just squat down as you raise your arms up. Take a deep breath here. Try to bring your knees forward and your butt back. And then bring your hands to your heart. Twist your whole body to the right and see if you could hook your left elbow on your against your right leg and then if you can press your elbow against it to bring the hands into the center of the sternum center of the chest and while you're in this position bring the left foot back into a crescent lunge twist Bring it back, bring the hands back up into chair pose and back down into to your chest and twist to the left and bring your elbow on the outside of your left leg. See if you could press the elbow against to bring the hands to the center of the chest and then bring the right foot back into a crescent twist. 
and then back forward and then hands down bring the knees down and I want you to be upright on your knees bring the hands up tuck your toes bring the right hand down left arm up look up at your left hand as it reaches backwards bring the hands up bring the left hand down and the right arm up and reach your right arm back we're prepping for camel pose raise the left arm up right arm down on your heel reach the left arm back and then bring it down see if you could bring your left hand down on your left heel and when you do that you bring the shoulders back together you don't have to put the head back you can also bring it forward this is a very personal choice of what feels comfortable for you some people could look completely backwards in this pose others it's more comfortable to just look forward so it's very different and the gardeners are starting so this isn't good so let's raise the arms up thank you leaf blowers for cutting this short and <laughs> Ah, there's multiple of them. All right, guys. Sorry, I got a little excited there too. I'm feeling the energy of the engines, the, the two-stroke motors here. All right, I'm gonna try to speak louder. You can't, you can't avoid these leaf blowers. They're everywhere, they're pervasive. Let's go into bridge pose. Let's lay on our back. Knees up, prep for bridge pose. Raise your hips up. Grab the sides of the mat, roll the shoulders backwards. Together, lift the chest up, hips up, forward, hips up. Deep breath, squeeze the abs. Squeeze the glutes. Now squeeze the abs and release the shoulders from underneath as you bring the body down one vertebrae at a time. Squeeze the abs as you bring your sacrum down ever so gently. Let's raise the hips up again into bridge, as high as it'll go. Grab the sides of the mat and bring the shoulders back together. Chest up, hips up, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the abs. Okay, now you can relax the glutes, but squeeze the abs. As you're going to come down one vertebra at a time, squeeze the abs. The shoulders release, you can let the hands go, but keep squeezing the abs to come down one vertebrae at a time. Feel the things you cannot feel normally, the small of your back, your sacrum, the articulation there. Good. Excellent. Let's bring the hands out to the side, bring the feet up and twist your knees to the left as you look over on your right. You can put the left hand on the left thighs to keep the thighs down as you look back on your right hand. You can close your eyes at this point. Deep breath. And let's bring the knees up to center and then over to the other side. Look over on the left side. Deep breath here, put the right hand down on the left thigh. Deep breaths as you look left. Good, let's bring the knees up and straighten the legs down. 
Corpse Pose, Shavasana. This is the most important pose, they say, which it is, I agree. Because after you work your body, you're supposed to just revel in the endorphins of having moved your body in new ways, reset your posture, and you can actually meditate very easily, which is supremely important to health in general especially nowadays and it's only going to be accelerating so you have to be decelerating even more just to stay sane all right and that's my advice to you and keep relaxing in this position as much as you want i'm going to sit up oh My camera just fell, so that was pr a perfect ending. Thank you for watching, everybody. If you like these kind of videos of mine, I have hamstring flexibility, hip flexibility, and shoulder flexibility programs that are videos just like this that you could buy all together as a bundle to help support me. And I thank you for watching. Please leave a comment with how you feel. Sorry, I had to cut the video short because of the leaf blowers, but now I know. Wednesday, don't do it on Wednesdays. All right, have a great day, everybody. Namaste. Luna, come. Remember to give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't, ring the bell, I love you guys. <laughs> I know, you want to play, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, you're, you're interrupting the yoga video, well, I know, I love you too. <laughs> I know, you want, you want to play with the leash. You're so playful, you want to play with the leash even. I know. You're so fun. Aww. You're so cute, Luna. You're so cute. You're so cute.